Hi everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to Vanessa's Van Life Journey. How are you guys doing today? Come on in, thumbs up the video if you are my friend. I am here today, Nutty Buddies, with a mukbang and a chit chat. So I have two ICs. Uh, I got the cherry and a blue one. I don't know what it's called. I got two of the sandwiches. A chicken sandwich the two for six and a fish sandwich from Burger King I'm gonna eat the bread today and I got some money my friend here in Houston bought me groceries I guess for a week or two weeks however long it lasts me and uh, and also she paid for this meal so I'm about to eat and say my grace Lord Jesus, we thank you for this food. We're about to receive your blessings, your love, your kindness, your mercy, your grace, and all the provision that you made up on my life. Everything you've done, everything you're about to do. We thank you, precious Heavenly Father, for encamping your angels round about us. Let no weapon formed against us prosper. Everything that the enemy plots and plans for us, again, dear Lord, let it return to his household, his doorstep, and his life. Let him reap that which he so in jesus name we pray amen i'm hungry it's in the middle of the night mm. i just came from the gym taking a shower and I have sardines in the van, but I need to eat my sardines before a certain time because I don't want to be smelling like sardines at night and I don't want the can to stay up in the van. Mm. Y'all, this sandwich is so good and hot, but either the lettuce was already withered or The sandwich is so hot, it's withering the lettuce. Let me know in the comments bar below. When you get a sandwich from Jack in the Box, I mean Burger King. Why did I say Jack in the Box? If the lettuce be wilted. This fish sandwich is good. So, I saw the other day. I bought this from Walmart because I needed it for a remedy. But I really wanted like a stone one. But they didn't have any at Walmart. That's all they had. I think it was $7.99 or $7.44. Uh, Something like that. But tonight I went to Marshall's and I seen this. They also had them in the marble. Maybe this color. But y'all know my colors are marble and black. This one is wider. I like the wider one. I was gonna get another one, but then I seen this one on the clearance section. And the one that I was gonna get, it was $9.99. And then when I went to the clearance section, they had one just like it that was $10. And this is was $10. So the one I was originally gonna buy wasn't as wide as this, and it was $9.99, a penny difference. So this one was on clearance for 10. 
I don't know what the price was before. I'm trying to see. It didn't peel the whole thing off. So I don't know what it was before, but it was on clearance for $10. So I got that. I want to make that little remedy every day or a couple of times a week to brush my teeth with minus the apple cider vinegar. I'm going to tell them to put this thing on the cabinet. Let it sit while you're making my food. And then put some, some more in it. Because it don't even be halfway full. After you let it sit. It don't even be halfway full. That's how they get over on you. They make that drink and hand them to you. And they still be cooking that food. By the time you get your food. That drink done settled. It's like it got air in it or something. But anyway, how are you guys doing? I'm getting ready to go out of town. My first trip out of the state of Texas. This is my first time having this fish sandwich. I see the lettuce look wilted. Mm -mm. I'm gonna tell them Give me my lettuce on the side because I need to see if that lettuce is wilted or not. So that's how this chicken sandwich looks. Let me look at a piece of the chicken. I don't know if I like the way that Taste. It tastes different than chicken nuggets. Anyway, I'm getting ready to go out of town. And my friend, wanted to buy some groceries for me. So, she gave me $60. I spent $38 today. And I still have this for the groceries. And she bought this meal. Mm show y'all that's all these I bought today on the carnivore diet you're supposed to eat sardines and water I know I'm not supposed to be eating this but Let's just say 90 to 95% of the time, I'm going to stick to the carnivore diet. I'm not going to be that hard on myself. So these are the sardines I bought. I went to Food Town. They were $109 a piece. And they are in water. They have all the different flavors in mustard and tomato sauce and all kind of different flavors so I got 
12 of these nine or 10 of these they were 199 when I bought these the last time when I was out of town I think they was on sale for 155 so again I'll probably stack up on them if I have the money But thank you to my friend. She watches my videos, y'all, at night when she get ready to lay down and go to bed and relax. Oh, she be so busy. With her grandson during the day. She can't. Only time she get to watch TV is at night. Very seldom does she get to watch TV during the day. But anyway, I'm excited about going out of town, but I wouldn't say scared. I would say more leery and cautious because, <laughs> you know, other states Every state got different kind of animals and wildlife. Texas, depending on where you go, I guess, we don't have any bears, mountain lions, depending on where you go. Where I've been going, no bears, no mountain lions. I haven't seen one snake, even though I know they exist in Texas. The biggest thing that I've had a problem with is a squirrel and a dog. <laughs> but some of these other places, depending on where you go, they might have a lion, a tiger, a bear, a snake, a tarantula. <laughs> wow. I'm like. I ain't scared. But I am cautious. I am concerned. Y'all pray for me. It's probably going to take over five tanks of gas to get to where I'm going. And gas is different prices. In different places you go. So... Huh. I'm not trying to go to no state where gas is $9 a gallon. I'm just going to be able to get one gallon of gas <laughs> and live at the red light. I'm going to be holding the traffic for two months. I'm going to have my flashes on and be like, go around, go around. <laughs> and I'll be like, ma'am. I'm going to be panhandling at the red light. I'm going to be like, if y'all want me to move, you got to give me some gas money. <laughs> and then the next day when they come back, 
I'm going to just be at the next red light. I'm going to be like, you just gave me enough to make it to the next red light, homie. How far you think $5 was going to get me? <laughs> That's funny. So I found my receipt for this thing. I'm taking this back tomorrow. I really like this. This cute. Y'all let me know in the comments bar below if y'all own one of these. If you like the wood or you like the stone. If there are any health benefits to either, excuse me, to either or, let me know in the comments bar below. If there's any natural remedy that you guys want to see me make with this thing, let me know. But anyway, y'all, tomorrow, with the rest of my money that my friend gave me for groceries, I'm going to go buy some bacon. Uh, the bacon costs $18 unless it went up. And then I want some liver and some onions. So I think that I'm going to go get that stuff tomorrow because I have a lot to try to prepare for and do, y'all, before I go out of town. I need to go to Office Depot and make some copies tomorrow. I went today by the time I got there, they were closed. So I need to go make some copies tomorrow. I need to go to Walmart and return this. And I need to buy some adhesive spray tomorrow at Walmart. And I need to, at some point, before I leave out of town next week, I need to go do my laundry and wash everything in the van, including my linen. I just like to watch my linen and curtains and everything at least once a month. My pillows, everything. My sheets, everything. Uh, so I need to go washing I need to clean my solar panels. They are horrendous. They dirty, y'all. I need to clean my solar panels. And hopefully where I'm going, I will run into some van lifers. I have a few things in my van that I would like to pass on to uh, a couple of van lifers. Uh, things that I'm not using. So hopefully along the way somewhere on the road, I could run into some van lifers. The people I run into at the uh, state parks here in Texas, are not usually van lifers. They're usually people that just RV on the weekend. I want to pass the things on to a van lifer, somebody that's living in a van full time, that it would make a difference to them in their van life. And uh, what else? Uh, I have to do, oh, I need to clean out the whole van really good again. And when I get ready to go out of town, go to the gas station and fill up. I need to go get some water. That's what else I need from Costco tomorrow, some water 
and some bacon. And then we probably gonna go, I don't know when I'm gonna go to Costco though because on the real, I'm probably gonna go tomorrow though, but I was gonna say on the real, I'm probably not gonna cook till the weekend. So if anybody wanna meet up with me before I leave, to go out of town, you wanna meet up with me, you wanna go bowling or something this weekend, hit me up in my DMs at Vanessa's Van Life Journey on Instagram. Or you can email me at Vanessa's Van Life Journey at yahoo.com. And just to the people who have a problem in general with my channel and you don't like my channel, please do not email me. My email is for business only. If you email me at my email with hate mail i am compiling all hate mail i will eventually take it to the police department and have them find out what your ip ip address is so i could eventually press charges against you and eventually sue you for bullying and harassment so i suggest that you guys do not send me any emails concerning your concerns about what i do on my channel like frankly my dear that's your opinion and your thoughts and if you hate me dislike me i'm not understanding why you're still watching me so frankly my dear if you choose to watch me i really don't give a damn you can keep your opinion to yourself okay because if you voice your opinion to me and that email is only for business purposes only you are bullying me and you're harassing me and eventually we gonna see if the police can find out your ip address and who you are for real not the fake name that you put on the account <laughs> anyway y'all i'm about to go so thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be notified each and every time I upload a new video. Also, if you want to support the channel, all my information is in the description box below. My Cash App, my PayPal, my Amazon wish list, and my mailing address. And if you guys want to help me on my travels to go out of town, I'm going to be leaving next week sometime. Uh, and you want to help out with gas. Uh, again, all my information is in the description box below. And I appreciate you guys. And I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye now. <laughs>